Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. I don't have words to show my appreciation. I'm crying inside. Dikh de sakta hai emotions, but it's all inside. Choked up completely. Thank you for this. Thank you. God bless everybody. Thank you. <laughs> but let me tell you, Bitcoin is not physical money. You can't add one Bitcoin for good luck to your nephew's good luck. You can't toss a Bitcoin to decide if India will bat first. It is digital money. <laughs> If your rickshaw driver had accepted Bitcoin in 2011, then today he would be flying a private jet designed by Emporio Armani, which would probably still not be allowed to go beyond Bandra. But between you and me, I prefer aeroplanes on the road than rickshaws on the road. But that's a separate show altogether. Welcome to episode two of Coin Switch. Now, guys, in the last episode, we discussed the entire philosophy of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, which is to remove the middleman. Satoshi Nakamoto, the great man, the inventor of Bitcoin, came up with the idea of a decentralized network. Now, all the participants worked together to eliminate the need for a middleman. That was it. Before we get to how they do that, let's see what the role of a middleman in a traditional financial situation is. Imagine a residential society. Nam Brochanagar. Brochanagar, or yaha, instead of normal money, everyone transacts not in cash but in these fictional digital brocha coins. Ye colony ka sara transactions, buildings ka sector. मेंटेन करता है उस नेम इज द क्विंटेंशियल कमलेस पाए वो ऐसा दिखता है फ्रॉम वन आई एनीवे गीता आंटी ने सुनीता बाई को लोन दिया तो कमलेश बाई विल रिकॉर्ड इट गीता गिव सुनीता बाई वन थाउजेंड ब्रोचर्स गीता हैज फोर थाउजेंड बैलेंस नाउ सुनीता बाई हैज वन थाउजेंड ब्रोचर्स चोपड़ा साहब ने डॉक्टर गुप्ता को टू हंड्रेड ब्रोचर फीस दिया श्वेता आंटी ने हंड्रेड थेपले बनाए गंगू बाई ने ले लिया एट फाइव ब्रोचर्स पर थेपला एंड सो ऑन सो यू सी कमलेश बाई कीप्स ऑल द रिकॉर्ड ही वेरीफाइज द ट्रांजेक्शन ही मेक्स योर बैलेंस आर एक्यूरेट एंड नो बडी स्पेंड मोर देन दे हैव बेसिकली एवरीथिंग इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन कमलेश भाई वन डे पीपल रियलाइज कि कमलेश भाई स्कूल में मैथमेटिक्स में चार बार फेल हो चुके हैं एंड व्हेन दे चेक द बुक्स दे रियलाइज कि सब गड़बड़ है तो दे डिसाइड टू गेट रिड ऑफ हिम एंड टेक मैटर्स इनटू देयर ओन हैंड्स नाउ व्हाट दे डू इज जब भी कोई ट्रांजैक्शन होता है द स्पेंडर शाउट्स आउट हिज ट्रांजैक्शन टू एवरीवन इन द बिल्डिंग फॉर एग्जांपल गीता आंटी कान कम टू द विंडो एंड यल मैंने सुनीता भाई को 1 लाख प्रोचा लोन दिया Immediately, everyone will check their records and reject the transaction and say, "What's happened to our voice?" Geeta Aunty, please. आपके पास सिर्फ दो brocha balance है. Get your facts right. Even if she appeals to Kamlesh Bhai, Kamlesh, please give me more brochas. Kamlesh Bhai can't do anything because he has no power in this system. Geeta, listen. Now, when we implement this system at a global scale, there's one issue. When the nodes are listening to several thousand transactions every minute, the records. Won't match. किसी के केस में चुलबुल का ट्रांजैक्शन विल बी बिफोर बुलबुल किसी में बुलबुल विल बी बिफोर चुलबुल एंड वेन टू नोट विल कंपेयर दे बुक्स इट वोट मैच एंड दे विल बी गुलबुल इसका सोल्यूशन बी द ग्रेट सतोषी नाकामोटो ओल्ड फॉर द म्यूजिक ने प्रोवाइड किया था एंड दिस इज वेर ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड माइनिंग कम इन टू द पिक्चर The idea is we can't control the number of transactions in the network, but maybe in a clever way we can control how they are recorded in each ledger. So instead of every node recording every transaction as they come in in every second, why not at regular intervals we record a batch of transactions? These batches of transactions are called blocks, and the ledger formed by adding more and more blocks of transactions on top of each other is called blockchain. Now every node will compare the order of blocks rather than the order of each individual transaction and because batching transactions in a block slows down the data entry process all nodes have more time to agree with each other on the order of these blocks so now let's understand who creates the blocks The whole point of Bitcoin was to eliminate the middleman, so it doesn't make sense to have one person that's creating the blocks and sending it to all the nodes. नहीं तो कमलेश भाई को हटाने का कोई मतलब नहीं हुआ. तो ये केस में the nodes in the network themselves volunteer to create the next block. These special nodes are called miners, and one is chosen roughly every 10 minutes. 10 minutes is for the Bitcoin का blockchain. Every crypto blockchain has its own block time. तो हाउ इज द माइनर चोजन बेसिकली ऑल ऑफ देम प्ले अ गेम ऑफ चार्ट इमेजिन समुंदर में सौ मछुआरे हैं और एक मछली जो सबसे पहले वो मछली पकड़ेगा वो नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक बनाएगा वेरी सिंपल 
Miners use their computers to solve a cryptographic equation by guessing random numbers. It's a really complicated equation and they guess like millions of numbers every second. Now the first miner to solve it gets to mine the next block of the Bitcoin blockchain. And this game of chance is called Proof of Work. Proof ki maine itna kaam kiya hai, electricity use kiya, computer kharida, net ka paisa dara, gaadi ka parking mila, uh, mummy ko hello bola, uh, doggy ko walk kiya, to deserve the honor of adding the next block. But miner itna mehna kyu karega? Because in addition to adding the next block, the winning miner also gets a few bitcoins in reward. Stop, stop. Before you run away to start mining bitcoin, please let me tell you, mining is a very expensive process. Proof of work gives everyone a fair chance at mining bitcoin. But there's one thing you can do to increase your advantage. Come closer, I'll tell you. Shh, secret. By getting a more powerful computer, you can guess more numbers per second and have higher chances of catching the fish. Matlab, agar ek bada net laga hai, to mashli aane ke chance zyada hoega. Aisa hi, you know. Big net, more fish. Early days of Bitcoin, mein, people could mine Bitcoin from their computers. But Satoshi ka genius coding say the equation becomes tougher every time people start solving it faster. This is done to maintain an average of 10 minutes per block. Just testing whether you're listening by talking faster. So people got more powerful machines or equation or tough hota gaya. It reminds me of my equation with my mother-in-law. Jitna mehnat karo, utna kam hai. Such a sweet person. Very sweet. Still calls me Raju even that's not my name. Nowadays, there are special computers made only for mining and there are mining factories with tens of thousands of such computers close to a power plant for cheap electricity. Safe to say, aam aadmi ke liye, mining is not the gig. So, to summarize, Bitcoin is a decentralized network jaha instead of one central point maintaining, verifying and updating the account books, the process is done by all the participants. To make all the books match with each other, transactions are recorded in batches called blocks instead of recording every single transaction. The series of blocks is called a blockchain. Blocks are added by miners, which are nodes in the network, and they compete with each other at a guessing game called Proof of Work. The winner puts the next block and gets rewarded in new Bitcoin. Simple si baat hai. Scarcity. We discussed the scarcity aspect of Bitcoin in our last episode. Currently, there's about 18.5 billion BTC in circulation, and every 10 minutes, some Bitcoin is added when a block is created or mined. But there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. 2 crore 10 lakh. Matlab, agar every Mumbaiker wants to own one whole BTC, to probably there's not enough. Maybe agar Chembur nikal diya, to shayad or if we remove Malad West and uh, Kandivli East. So this scarcity is why Bitcoin is so valuable. 21 million, that's the hard cap. Jo miners ko Bitcoin reward mil raha hai, that is reduced by half every four years. And by 2140 AD, roughly around my... <laughs> 169th birthday when I'll be eating gluten-free cake through a straw. The last Bitcoin will be mined. Music. Our question is that miners mine kyu karenge agar rewards hi milega. The belief is that the transaction fees alone will be enough to incentivize the miners. Along with getting mining rewards, miners currently earn a small percentage of BTC from every single transaction. But as BTC grows in value, that small percentage will actually be valuable enough in the future. And they will have huge ships and planes, maybe own countries, maybe two countries. Aapki identity on the Bitcoin network is just a string of numbers and letters. 3J9811WPEZ732NMQVICRMRTPRSQUARETLNLY. Naam to suna hi hoga. I know what you're wondering who's that gorgeous man in that wonderful jacket? Well, he's not for sale. He's sort of happily married. Okay, this is basically your public key, like your account number or your email ID. When you want someone to send you Bitcoin, you give them your public key. There's also your private key. This private part is not going It's like your password. If you lose this, you lose all your assets. Guys, because blockchain is a public ledger, every transaction is public. But you're not identified by your name on the blockchain. You are identified by your public key. This gives you some measure of privacy. Also, unlike popular belief, crypto is actually not a favorable medium for illegal activities. For example, if you took 100 Bitcoin in ransom, the authorities can track the transaction on the blockchain when you try to sell it. It's so pointless to embezzle money through a blockchain that in 2020, less than 0.5% of illegal money was transacted through crypto. 
बिटकॉइन एक ग्लोबल नेटवर्क है मतलब यू कैन सेंड योर बिटकॉइन टू एनी वन एनी वे इन द वर्ल्ड इन अ मैटर ऑफ मिनट्स विद मिनिमल कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन द लार्जेस्ट बिटकॉइन ट्रांजेक्शन गेट दिस टिल डेट वाज इन अप्रैल 2020 1.1 बिलियन डॉलर्स वर्थ ऑफ बिटकॉइन वाज सेंड फ्रॉम वन एड्रेस टू अनदर एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ जस्ट 68 सेंट्स इट मेक्स नो सेंस इट्स ऑलमोस्ट नॉनसेंस ट्रेडिशनल क्रॉस बॉर्डर वेल्थ ट्रांसफर्स टेक डेज एंड कॉस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड पेपर वर्क एंड वेट लॉस Now let's talk about some of the shortcomings of Bitcoin. वो तो नहीं है. It's a very quick topic. Hardly a few seconds. All right. A Bitcoin block is created every 10 minutes, or उसका एक size limit है 1 MB, which is enough to process about 2,700 transactions. That comes down to about 4.5 transactions per second. Compare that to a transaction expert like Visa or Mastercard, and they do more than 1,500 TPS. So I'll put it this way: If TPS were an F1 race, Bitcoin generally shows up in a wheelchair. One disclaimer here is this limitation is only in the case of Bitcoin and not all the cryptocurrencies. There are several other cryptos that are way faster. Guys, decentralization is at the heart of every cryptocurrency. But as mining got more and more difficult and expensive, it got out of reach of normal nodes. Now, Bitcoin mining is mostly done in huge mining farms by a small group of people. In fact, before China banned crypto mining earlier this year, the majority of the miners were based in China. China. So your question is, why is this a problem? If more than 51% of miners in a blockchain start working together, they can compromise the blockchain by successfully adding fraudulent blocks if they want to. A blockchain needs majority consensus to be considered valid. The good news is, thanks to China's ban, the miners have migrated to other parts of the world, and hence increasing Bitcoin's decentralization once again. So it's almost like this cause and this effect, and then that effect and this cause, this change and that change. I'll be Frank. No, I'll be Joe. No, I'll be Cyrus. Mining is expensive. The hardware is expensive. Electricity is expensive. In fact, Bitcoin mining consumes more electricity in a year than the country of Finland. Environmentalists are not happy about this. They're not happy about most things in life. But Bitcoin is one of their biggest sources of unhappiness. Unka kena hai. Running the Bitcoin network is bad for the environment as it uses electricity produced by burning coal. It's definitely a valid point. I give you that. But the pro Bitcoiners say that majority of Bitcoin mining is done with clean electricity produced from renewable sources. Also, unka kena hai ki the demand for electricity for mining is actually speeding up the process of renewable energy adoption. So these are basically the two sides of the same Bitcoin. See how I did that? So that is like the googly, right-handed bowler. I got the ball to go away from the right-hander. You thought it was coming in? Went that way. That's so. That's so. That's the leg break. All right, guys. Great news. I'm going to stop talking. But not so great news. After some time, I'm going to stop talking. This was episode two, and I hope you somehow understand or manage to understand how Bitcoin and the blockchain technology that powers it work. And honestly, Bitcoin is only the first chapter of cryptocurrencies. It is the big daddy. It came first, but Bitcoin only scratches the surface of what the blockchain tech can do. And in the next few episodes, I believe 198 of them, uh, we will discuss Ethereum and the other altcoins and how they are trying to improve upon what Bitcoin has already accomplished. I suggest you wear a helmet for the next one because your brains are going to be. Blown. I was hoping for a sound effect there. If it didn't happen, I looked like an idiot. And remember, you can get started into the revolutionary world of cryptos in an instant. Just download CoinSwitch and acquire Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptos within seconds. It's not hard at all. Check this out. If only I could charge this phone on time. What? Yeah, that's all there is to it. One sec, I've got a phone call. I better take this. Ah, uh, who is that? Oh, Sanjeev Lila Bansali. Baba, कितना बार बोला I'm not doing your film. I don't like the story. I don't like the story, yar. What is this? Uh, a garib man grows up, kills a zamindar, and I'm I'm pro zamindar. I don't like the story. Change the story, I'll do it. Ah, oh. Sanjeev Lila Bansali always calls yar at the wrong time. Sorry, guys. I have to also earn money to invest in Bitcoin. So, okay, I'll do an item number. First compromise. ठीक है स्वीट गाय